Hi, I'm Wayne Schoenberg. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. When I was young, I wanted to be a stand-up comic. That was until a well-meaning gentleman came up to me and he said, Look, son, you're German, and Germans just aren't funny. And I looked around and didn't see any German comedians, so I thought, you know, he must be right. So I did the next best thing. I became a trial lawyer. Now, there's a lot of similarities between trial lawyers and stand-up comics. I mean, where else can you go? Talk to a group of people, say absolutely ridiculous and outlandish things and get paid for it. Okay, Congress. But I decided to be a lawyer. And if you're going to be a lawyer, you have to earn a living. And so I thought the three dismal D's would be the place to do it. Death, divorce, and disagreement. That's the cornerstone of the legal profession. You know, think about it. Death, divorce, and disagreements. Now, we lawyers call those the three dismal D's when we're talking to lay people, but when we're at the country club, having our expensive drinks over our two-hour lunches, after coming in from the golf course, we call them the three big dollar D's because, you see, that is the grease that keeps the gears of the legal machinery running smoothly, and your job as a lay person is simply to avoid becoming a grease monkey. Now, let's talk about disagreements for a minute. That is the seed crop, of course, of everything that the lawyers do. And human beings are just, they just disagree. I know it's in their nature to disagree. As a matter of fact, there's somebody out here right now who's disagreeing with that statement. But think about it, we disagree with our neighbors, we disagree with our workers, our, our co-workers, we disagree with our boss, and our bosses disagree with us, and most dangerously of all, we disagree with our spouses. And that frequently leads to one of the other three dismal D's. Not death. We'll leave that cheery dismal D until later. Let's talk about divorce. Oh, I know. A lot of you are saying, not me. I'm never getting divorced. It's not in my future. It's not happening. And then the rest of you are married. But I understand that divorces are terrible. First of all, the only winners in the divorces are the lawyers who collect all the money. But and, and I know I've handled a lot of divorces and I've been divorced more than one time. I know that divorces are rotten, but I'm not a quitter. I'm happy to announce that I've been married for more than 10 years to a lovely woman, a woman who is perfect for me. As a matter of fact, I tell my friends I have won the wife lottery. I did have to buy an awful lot of tickets, though. And, as I said, divorces are expensive. Do you know what an amoeba is? An amoeba is a small, one-celled creature that divides itself in half. Well, for a long time, I was like an economic amoeba. I would divide my assets in half and then move on. But I always knew that human nature being what it was, death, divorce, and disagreements, that I had the opportunity to make that money back, and I did. And so every night before I go to bed, I kneel down solemnly next to my bed, and I bend forward and I place my hand reverently on my floor safe, and I thank God that good judgment and decency is not the norm. And I tell my wife, I've learned from my mistakes. I've settled down now, and my wife says to me, You've gotten older, you've just run out of steam. She may be right. You know, nobody likes to talk about being old, but I enjoy being older. I mean, it's, it's liberating. You can say almost anything that you want to say. Half the people are going to say, what a wise old man, and the other half are going to say, what an old fool, and the nice part about it is you don't care what either of them say. Now, there are good parts about being old and bad parts about being old. The good parts, I get discounts everywhere. I get discounts at hotels. I get discounts at restaurants. The bad news is there are restaurants I wouldn't eat anymore. I used to eat at them all the time. If I ate at them now, I wouldn't get any older. They were places that I'd hang out early in the morning after I'd been out partying with my friends. I mean, who eats biscuits and gravy at 2 o'clock in the morning if they haven't had too much to drink? Speaking of that, have you ever been to an open mic night at a comedy club? There are plenty of people there who are getting ready to go out and have biscuits and gravy. But open mic nights, what a concept. Some club owner came up with that idea. I mean, you bring people into your club on a night when 
people wouldn't normally be there and these people pay these customers come in and pay and what do they do they come in to see people who are working for free and of course the customers buy drinks spend their money the comedians work for free they try out their stuff they try out their new stuff they try out their old stuff they want to see if it works these are people who are trying to see if they have something that's going to make it these are people who hate their day jobs and then of course you have the audience and god bless them an audience in a comedy club they're really just lab rats for the comedy world. But you have to have them and they're wonderful people. Now, talk about trying out old stuff and new stuff. I have plenty of old stuff at my age. As a matter of fact, I have shoes older than all of you. I have suits older than most. I have underwear. Depends. All right, now I'm not gonna talk about the last dismal D, which is death. Because I don't know anything about death. I've never tried it. In my school of thought, you only get to do it one time, and I want to get it right. But people have different thoughts about death. Some people say that when you die, you don't know it. It's like being stupid. And then there are people that say when you die, one of two things happens. You go to a great place of joy and wonderment, and you're there with your family, and you're there with your friends, and you're there with your pets, and it's joy and happiness forever. And then the other side of that is, there are people who say that you spend eternity in a second-rate comedy club with second-rate comedians where the drinks are watered down and the comedians go on forever with unfunny stuff. Look at this guy over here. He's checking to see if he's died. Thank you. I'm Wayne Schoenberg. It's always a pleasure to talk to any group where there's not somebody sitting next to me who might go to jail when I'm done talking. Thank you and good night.